Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a rolling carpet animation in Blender. Let's get started. Press the A key to select all default objects and delete them. Next, go to Edit menu, Preferences. Open the Get Extension tab and search for Extra Curve Objects. Click Install the Add-on. It gives us access to useful curve presets like spirals, which we'll use to guide the carpet's roll. Press Shift A, go to Curve, Spirals, and choose Archimedean. Open the bottom left panel to set the spiral parameters. Set radius to 0.0, .0 radius growth to 0.1, and turns to 7. Rotate the spiral 90 degrees on both Y and Z axes to orient it properly. Then press Numpad 1 to switch to front view. Select the end vertex of the spiral, press E, and extrude it along the x-axis to stretch the curve. This step gives the curve a flat tail at the end, making the carpet roll from flat to spiral. Press A to select all the curve's control points. Make sure the last selected point, white, is active. Change the pivot point to active element, then press Shift S and selection to cursor. This centers the active control point at the origin, an important step for accurate deformation later on. Go to the Curve Overlays menu and enable Normals. This shows the direction of the curve, which is important for correct deformation. If the normals point the wrong way, go to the Segments menu and choose Switch Direction. Back in Object Mode, press Ctrl plus A and apply the rotation. This ensures that the object's local axes align correctly during deformation. Now let's create the carpet geometry. Add a plane, enter Edit Mode, right-click, and subdivide it about 50 times. We need high geometry density for smooth deformation. More subdivisions allow the mesh to bend cleanly. Go to the Modifiers tab and add a Curve modifier. Choose the spiral as the curve object. Now move the spiral slightly along the x-axis. The plane should follow the spiral shape, simulating a rolled-up carpet. Use the S key to scale down the spiral if needed. Add a Solidify modifier to give the carpet thickness. Then add a Subdivision Surface modifier to smooth out the mesh. Right-click and choose Shade Smooth. If a Smooth by Angle modifier was added automatically, you can delete it. Let's move on to texturing the carpet. Press the Z key and switch to Render Preview Mode. In the Render Properties tab, change the Render Engine to Eevee. Enable Ray Tracing to improve lighting quality on materials. Go to the World Properties tab and add an Environment Texture. This provides realistic lighting and reflections for the scene. Go to the Render Settings, scroll down to the Film Panel, and enable the Transparent option. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Shader Editor. Click New to create a new material and name it Carpet. Go to Edit, Preferences, open the Add-ons tab and enable Node Wrangler. This is a powerful tool that simplifies material setup. Select the principled shader node. Press shift Control t Choose all your carpet texture maps and click Principled Texture Setup. This automatically connects the correct texture nodes. Go to the Mapping node and set the X, Y, and Z scale values to 10 to tile the texture more densely across the surface. You can also increase the normal map strength for better surface detail. This adds the illusion of depth without changing the mesh. To add real surface displacement, use a vector displacement map. In the Material Properties settings, change displacement to displacement and bump. 
Now the mesh will actually deform based on the texture. Lower the displacement scale value if the effect is too strong. For better results, increase the subdivision level in the modifier. You can also assign a different material to the backside of the carpet. Add a second material slot. In the Solidify modifier, under Material, set Rim to 1. This tells Blender to use the second material on the back face. Set the Material Index to 1. Then use nodes like Noise Texture, Color Ramp, and Bump to create a different backside texture. Finally, let's animate the rolling motion. Switch back to the timeline, select the spiral, and move it along the x-axis. Press K and insert a location keyframe at frame 1. Go to frame 30, move the spiral further along the x-axis, and insert another location keyframe. Now select the first keyframe, press Shift-D to duplicate it, and place it at frame 60. This will loop the animation forward and backward. Finally, select all the keyframes, press Shift-E, and choose Make Cyclic. This turns the motion into a continuous looping animation. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.